you want to do some raised bed gardening and you want to make some wooden beds, but you've heard stories. Maybe you're a little concerned. Join me today as I answer the question, is pressure treated wood safe for the garden? Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and to answer the question you're probably wondering right now, the wood I'm sitting on is not pressure treated wood, but the wood right there is. I do use pressure treated wood in my garden, and I'm not that concerned by it. Let me share with you some of the science and history behind pressure treated wood in the garden. It should come as no surprise to you that wood will break down and rot over time. And with the soil fungi and the insect pests we have in the garden, its lifespan will shorten. So we've been trying to figure out how to make our wood last longer for a long time. And one of the solutions was to treat the wood with creosote. Creosote is that black smelly liquid that you might see leaking out of a telephone pole of a, or a railroad tie on a hot day. It's very effective against the fungi and the pests that will shorten the life of wood. But it can also be very effective at killing the plants that are growing nearby a fresh creosote log. And we've also found out since that it's a carcinogen, pretty harmful to humans. In the 1930s, a new chemical was developed, and it was used to treat wood since the 1940s. It's CCA, chromated copper arsenate. And those three ingredients, the chromium, the copper, and the arsenic, were also very effective at making wood last longer. And through most of the 20th century, it was used in residential settings for that reason. But at the end of the last century, people began to be concerned, particularly about the chromium and the arsenic and what dangers they might pose if they were released into the environment. There were a number of studies that showed CCA treated wood could be used safely in the garden. Some of those studies did show that the chemicals would leach out of the wood but usually it didn't extend more than a few inches. And University of Pennsylvania Extension said you could use it, but it suggested that you plant your root vegetables in particular at least 12 inches away from that wood in case it leached. But even if it did leach, the chemicals that the plants might absorb from the soil would usually kill the plant before they could reach the levels that would be harmful for humans. A bigger concern was handling of the wood and the possibility that some of that arsenic could wind up on our hands and skin and particularly children might be in danger. And so in 2002, the Environmental Protection Agency working with the Wood Preserving Association decided to stop making the CCA treated wood. It was a voluntary agreement, but since 2003, that wood hasn't been sold. So you're not going to find that harmful CCA treated wood anywhere to use in your garden unless you move into a house where it might have been in place for more than 20 years. And it wasn't just the United States that took that action. Canada, the EU, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan all followed suit. And you won't find that wood available for residential settings like gardens. You might still find some of it in commercial applications, but it's not going to be sold at the home center when you pick up the lumber to build a bed. Instead, the treatments today are ACQ, alkaline copper quaternary. And that's what the wood that I have and everyone else has since 2003. There are other chemicals that you might find being used as a wood preserver, like copper azole. But for the general consumer, it's going to be the ACQ wood that you find to use in the garden. And 
Currently, it's universally recognized as safe for gardens, safe for residential settings, safe for the plants that we're going to grow. The primary ingredient, copper, is naturally occurring in the soil and is an element that plants need and humans need as well. So while there may be some leaching from the wood, when the copper gets to the soil, it binds with the soil, particularly with rich soil, and doesn't pose a problem. And with the data showing that I can use pressure-treated wood in my garden, I do. In this corner of the garden, I'm actually conducting a test of the pressure-treated wood versus untreated wood. This bed I constructed with both levels pressure-treated wood. This bed and that bed, the lower level is treated, the upper level isn't. And in that bed, both levels are untreated wood. And I think it's already beginning to show the difference between how long the different woods will last. Industry data suggests that pressure-treated wood can last 15 or 20 years. And this wood is almost three years old and looks very close to the day I bought it. This fur that is untreated is already starting to show signs that it's breaking down, it's cracking. It obviously doesn't look as good as the pressure-treated wood, even though it's the same age. This fully pressure-treated bed is looking great, almost like it's brand new. And this untreated bed is showing that it's beginning to age. Now, pressure-treated wood is not for everybody. I recognize that, and there's no requirement that you use it in your garden, especially if you are an organic gardener you might want to consider using untreated wood or a different alternative like cypress or redwood or cedar. Those can be more expensive, but they will last longer than most untreated woods. The United States Department of Agriculture does not allow certified organic growers to use pressure-treated wood in areas where food is being produced. They can use it for fence posts and to make barns, but not for vegetable beds. So you might use that as some guidance. The copper itself is regularly used in a lot of organic pesticides. It's just the wood that currently isn't allowed. And so think about that when you're deciding what kind of wood you're going to use. A wood like this, untreated, that might last five to ten years, or a treated wood that'll last at least twice that long. And as you're looking at my beds and wondering why I'm doing this experiment and why the bottom half is treated and the top half isn't, it's because that's an option. If you're using high beds like this, most of the plants we're going to be growing are going to have roots that are only going to extend down about half the bed height. So I can extend the life of this bed by using the pressure-treated wood at the bottom, the untreated wood at the top, with the understanding that at some point I'll probably have to replace this upper wood long before the lower wood needs that same replacement. This bed demonstrates that you don't have to do all pressure-treated or all untreated. If you have the concerns about the wood, make the top half the cheaper untreated wood. I don't have those concerns, which is why the rest of my beds are all pressure treated wood. I do have some concerns about working with the wood because of the chemicals involved with the ACQ treatment. I wear gloves anytime I'm working with the pressure treated wood. And when I'm cutting the wood to make these beds, well, it's a good idea to wear a dust mask so you don't breathe in any of that sawdust that has those chemicals on it. If you have an aversion to chemicals in your garden, but you like the idea of pressure-treated wood, you can still use it, but consider having a barrier between the wood and the soil. Lining your beds with plastic means that any leaching that might take place 
will never reach the soil. And you can treat it with a weather sealant that will also help prevent the leaching into the soil. Or you might follow the previous advice from the CCA wood and just put your plants in far enough from the wood that any of your concerns really wouldn't be valid. Regardless, I'm still planning to continue my use of pressure treated wood. It is more expensive than untreated wood and that's another reason why I'm doing this experiment. To try to figure out if it's worth that extra expense for the extra time it gives you before you need to replace your boards. And I won't know for sure for a few years to come, but I'm guessing that I'm going to like the pressure treated wood at the end of this study more than the untreated wood. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. <music>